In southwest Ghana, a section of pristine forest stripped away, replaced by open pits whose mud is now filled with toxic chemicals and men searching for gold. This is Galamsi, the local name given to Ghana's now booming wildcat gold mining industry. While the practice has provided a livelihood for thousands, it has also polluted nearly two-thirds of the country's water sources and destroyed thousands of hectares of forest and cocoa farms. Many Ghanaians are now saying enough is enough. Galamsi has to stop. All our water bodies have been polluted. They say water is life. When water is life and our water bodies have been polluted, how can we live long? 40% of Ghana's gold output comes from small-scale mines. In the first seven months of 2024, they produced 1.2 million ounces, more than they did in all of 2023, as the price of gold on global commodities markets has risen by some 30% this year. As many as eight out of 10 small mines are unlicensed. Their gold leaves behind the mercury, nitric acid, and lead used to process it, but it doesn't leave behind tax revenues, as most of it is smuggled out of the country. The volume of gold reported to be exported out of Ghana is not the same amount up to the countries where it's going to, like Dubai. So it's an industry that is very informal and it makes it easy for organized crime to get involved. The practice is dangerous for the miners themselves. Dozens have died in collapsing pits with high rates of pulmonary diseases among miners in nearby villagers. Polls show Galamsi to be among the top issues for voters in December's upcoming general election.